But that's always been their legacy. They never been able to find, I'm, really, when you look at it with, through white eyes, what did they do wrong? They always been criminals. They've been criminals. That's how they came here, they were criminals. When they got here, they were criminals. While they've been here, they've been criminals. So it only makes sense to come out to defend criminals. Why is it we so afraid to defend righteous people? Yeah. When Dr. King got shot, we'll give credit what credit to do. He sat here and gave you, showed you how to become what they call civil disobedience, which makes no sense. Because I'm going to go get permits to march. Go get permission to cross a bridge. Huh? And then I'm going to tell y'all what we're going to use is civil disobedience. To disobey is not to follow. It's to go contrary. Not acknowledge orders. Why would I go get papers to be civilly, civilly disobedient? This don't make no sense. I'm going to get a permit to walk across a bridge which gives me permission so I can show civil disobedience. Now, I didn't even go to college. This don't make no sense. Every march he ever did, he had paperwork. He had to wait on a federal judge to get him paperwork to go back across the Edmund, Edmund Patterson Bridge after there was no paperwork issued for the people that threw them off the bridge and murdered people. Nobody talk about this. What was the paperwork that was ordered for the people that threw those people off of the bridge? People that, no, no, I didn't talk about that. People died from that march. And yet the president of the United States at that time, Lyndon Bain Johnson, told King to wait before he crosses again while a federal judge issues a mandate and an order that he can cross the bridge. And we're showing civil disobedience. Yay! We proved that we could do it through civil disobedience. White people look at you, they laugh at you. If I was y'all, I wouldn't go to the prom. They're all going to laugh at you. They're going to laugh at you. Those white people in Oregon ain't waiting on no paperwork. They moved on what they said was God giving to them. They said he's right, no government can't take from him or give to him. They said they always had it and they always been able to do it. How you always had, always been able to do it, and you took it from some Indians. Now, if the Indian pulled this foolishness, they would already been gunned down again. Why are people the only people can walk up with their own rules and regulations out of nowhere? Always that when Yahuwah told her he always was and he was be, that means it's never been a time I hadn't been. How I always had it when I got it from somebody else. By definition, you're a liar. You hadn't always had it belong to somebody else. See, y'all live with these word games. They tell me, is this not word game? We're in bad shape. We're in bad. I fear five people. As Dr. King did tell one man before his death, Harold Belafonte, I fear that I have integrated my people into a burning house. I fear. He told Harold Belafonte before he died, I fear that I have integrated my people into a burning house. They set him up. They set him up. Civil disobedience. Huh? Huh? He knew. He, he realized they set me up. He taught you to be passive. You still hold that today. See, if we do like Martin said, see, we got to do this through nonviolence and through protest and through civil disobedience. And we go right to the White House and ask the white man for paperwork. We go to the federal judge and get them to give up paperwork so we can march to show our legal civil disobedience. They programmed us. I was one, Christianity helped me do it. I don't know why I talk about this. I would love to just come here and just get them, just preach and just go. I would, I would. But it's so, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just hurtful. It's just hurtful to watch just where we at as a people, how we not acknowledge, how we not recognize, how these um, terminologies they're giving us from color to African American to sub Saharan Nubians to all these different names. I mean, it's like, you know, a Nubian is just somebody from uh, Sudanese. Are you from Sudan? Why are you telling these people you're a Nubian? See, you say stuff, you don't even know what you said. So you're from Sudan. Now I'm Nubian. So you're from Sudan. 
Then you got these movements out here. They Nubian, my black Nubian queen, and they're Egyptian. <laughs> Pushing Egyptian language. Do you know these white people look at you laughing at you? You told these people you're from Sudan, but you're Egyptian. You don't know what you are. These groups don't know what they are. They have no idea what they even be saying. It's just like when Shaul told Timothy, they don't know what they say and whereby you even confirm it. You don't even know what you confirm, do you? White people, I remember that was years ago when you called, look, my beautiful black Nubian sister. From Sudan? You from Sudan, huh? Everything questionable now. But they just teach you. I let you use that lingo, let you throw it around because I know you don't know what you're saying. I know you don't know what you're saying. Y'all all right? Nobody can give you no civil rights. Those are God-given. Those are inalienable. He can't give those to you. Why? And you don't realize when you go and you ask this man for civil rights, he's looking at you. So you ask me to give you something that God gave. So what you telling me? I'm God? See, y'all better watch it. See, these people can't. Like, these people set you. He really, I, I really set you up. I set you up. You told, you went to the White House and told the white man to give you God-given rights. You told a white man he was God. And you told a white man that you, God, give me what I should have. The God who you should have been served, which is Allah, has been watching us. I've been told y'all I wouldn't go to no white house. I'm not big. I'm not going to no plantation house as this white man for nothing. That's an insult. I'm going to ask him for no another new mule so I can plow his field. That's an insult. He insults my intelligence. Farrakhan, these people are government agents. They used you. They took a million people up here to bring money to Washington, D.C. That's why these white people let him survive. If they really felt like this man was a threat like they thought he was, you think that man would still be living the way he's living? This man is a millionaire. This man got so many crimes against humanity he committed. Why these people had came and infiltrated this man? Because he's not a threat to them. He was an agent. Y'all need to know what an agent is. Y'all think these black people out here, these people are agents. John Lewis, agent. Amen. Julian Bond was an agent. Jesse Jackson, an agent. Al Sharpton, an agent. Let me tell you, somebody comes out the way Al Sharpton is. The way Al Sharpton supposed to stand for so-called black right. You think these white networks actually let that man get a position? A television show? A radio show? I can't even get on TV. When I call them, try to go back. They won't even call me back. They won't even call me back. They hang up on me. But they gave you a radio and a talk show, huh? Because you're for black folks. They see y'all coming a mile away. Mile away. All these ain't nothing. These guys are nothing but agents. They're funded by these, by these people. They show that just like they funded Rick Ross. They'll fund you for their agenda. And when their agenda over, they'll do just like they did Rick Ross. They'll throw you in prison. Tell them to pull my paperwork while I'm on the payroll for them. Tell them to come and expose me while I've been having secret meetings with them and where we've been talking and wiretaps and we've been exchanging money and how they told me how to take you in and how to set you up and get you killed. Tell them to do the same thing for the others with Creflo Dollar, TDJ. A white president going to go pick up a nigga and fly him in a plane to go show him what happened in New Orleans when he lived in Texas. Right. It makes sense. It just made a white president always need a nigga in the plane so he can go and assess damage. When it took any other black people in the other places to fly them and let you up survey the damage. Because you're a part of the plot. People don't want to believe stuff like this. Huh? A black man with these kind of, listen, with the intelligence, with the education, with the connection these people got, these guys lead the country. These guys flowing in the, they flying in the place at, at will, places we trying to go back won't let us in here. You telling me that what they call Israel, just let a plane full of all these niggas just fly in at will and land and do Christmas, do Easter? Do evangelistical work and tours and go in and look where Jesus died? And they ain't afraid these people might take camp in here? Won't let us in there, though. Because they're agents. When they fly them over, you know what they tell them? Just like they tell the rest of you, these are God's people. This is God's people. 
Huh? You can come and visit, but you don't need to live here. God gave it to them because they're Asians. They programmed our mind to look at that white skin and believe that white skin on and everything belonged to them. That's why they let them in now. Y'all don't see that, do you? Do you know when you get on the plane to go down, even though you went through custody and you were checked, that you will be checked again and you will be stopped on the plane? This is not a country that you just go through custom and you got on the plane and you're done. They will get you again on the plane. And you tell me that you can just fly here and around with who you want to and none of this happened to you and your group. Because they're agents. All these people just never mere agents. They know they're agents. Huh? Ed alone, nothing but an agent. Huh? He's a butt plugging agent, but he's an agent. And he needs some Ajax and scrub that ugly nigga clean for molesting them boys. Look how they just blew it. No, nothing, nothing else said. No criminal action. No criminal action. It's no statute of limitation. Bill Cosby getting investigated for women in the 70s. He done bust boot in the 2000. Nobody talking about it no more. I'm sorry, he done got in the 2000 booted. Cosby getting prosecuted for in the 70s. Run that joker through the mud through the 70s and through the 60s. They're agents. Steve, y'all seen the Matrix? They're agents. And you know what agents can become? They become people just like you. Y'all remember the agents come out, nobody the come back in there? They're agents. And they tell you how they hate humans and the smell of you. They hate you. Okay. They try to show y'all all the time. Y'all just don't watch. In order to take down, look at the stuff they were trying to take down. They were trying to destroy the city of Zion. What happened for us in Zion? That's where Yahushua was born. And the whole time, these white agents were trying to get to destroy Zion. And the only way to do it, amazingly, they needed to get one of their own people to sell them out and give them the information so they can try to kill the one 